Girls, I know you will understand this and feel the intrinsic incredible emotion. You have just pulled over your head the worn, warm sweater belonging to a boy. Now you haven't had a passionate kissing session or anything, but you did get to go on a camping trip with him and eight of the people from school. And you practically slept together, your sleeping bag right next to his. And you woke in the night to watch him as he slept, but you couldn't see anything because it was too dark. So you just laid there breathing and wondered if your heart might burst. Now the sweater's going to have that slightly goat-like smell which all teenage boys possess. And that smell's going to live when they transfer to all your other clothes. And if you get to keep it for a few days, you can sleep with it. But don't let your mama see it, because she'll say, What's that filthy thing, and who does it belong to besides the trash man? So you got to kind of hide it under the covers with you. You can wrap it around your waist, rub it up against your leg, do whatever that's your business. Now, if the sweater there's got sort of like reindeer on it, or a funny color like yellow, I'm sorry, we can't get away with a sweater like that. you got to look for brown, gray, or blue. And anything other than that, and you know you're dealing with someone who's different, and child different is not what we are looking for. We're looking for the boy of your dreams, who's the same boy of the dreams of all of your friends. Now, the sweat isn't going to fit you, of course. you got to roll up them sleeves in a jaunty way that says, This is a sweater belonging to a boy, and that boy's a hunk of hunk of burning love, and this is not just some hand-me-down from your brother or your father. <laughs> Monday, wear that sweater to school. Be calm, look cute, don't tell them the dream about the place the two of you are going to share when you get older. Just be yourself. The best, cutest, quietest version of yourself. Definitely wear lip gloss. He looks at you and then he looks away and then he walks away and the scent of that sweater hits you again suddenly like Abe St. Gloriola and you get a note passed to you by a girl in history class. He needs his sweater back. He forgot you but put it on in the tent on Saturday and he's been looking for it. And you ain't got to die of humiliation, you know. You can still hold your head up high as you run from that classroom, tearing that stinking sweater from your body. You look at that sweater, honey, carefully. And you realize the love has made you temporarily blind. You got a secret now, honey, and even though you would never sink as low as him, you could blab it all over that school if you wanted. The label in that sweater said 100% acrylic. <laughs> acrylic. <laughs> <laughs>